One of my biggest pet peeves, ladies, let me know if you can relate. Where you, you know, you started dating, you start dating a new guy, and you know, you guys are just at the stage of where you're just texting back and forth. And all he can say is, How you doing? What you doing? Every single day is, How you doing? What you doing? Bruh. Can you check the dictionary? There's so many other phrases and words that you could put together so that this conversation can be more enticing. I'm just saying. Hello, queens. How you all doing today, queens and my kings? My name is Miyase. Today we're talking about the pet peeves in relationships. Biggest dating pet peeves ever and what we should stop doing in the initial state of dating. Now we have to understand what is dating. Dating is getting to know someone as a friend. You're moving from that level to close friendship, intimate friendship, dating. Once you get to that level of dating where you say you want to date somebody, you're actually seeing them as someone that you want to settle down with. If you're not in a place in your life where you want to settle down with somebody, you got no business dating, sis. You got no business dating, brother, because you're not going to be playing nobody in Lodo here. Uh, pool six, pool four, pool five. Uh -uh. No balance ball. We're not playing balance ball here. If you know you don't, you don't have anything serious to do with that young lady or to do that young man, let them go. Free them. They are dead. Okay. Taking so long to text back or to call back. I absolutely don't like that. Now, a little disclaimer. I know my family will be like, girl, I know you not talking. My friends are going to be like, girl, I know you not talking. Ooh, did you guys see my cartoon? Yes! Taking, number one, taking so long to text back. That's one of my pet peeves. When you would text a man and it takes him five hours later to text you back. Once you get a response, I'm like, do you exist? Do I have you on my phone? Listen, I'm a, I'm a very patient person to God be the glory. But you do that one time, two times, three times. I may not give an opportunity to do a fourth time because I just might delete and block you all the way. Period. Now, I dealt, I dealt with that in the initial stage of my relationship. So that's something that we had to work on. Okay? So, that was that's like literally one of, one of my biggest pet peeves. When you're, when you're texting somebody and they take 10 hours to text you back. Or you're calling somebody and it takes 10 hours to text you back. Like I said, my family probably be like, Sandy, you, Mimi, you should not be talking. Why? I should not be talking because honestly, I'm not a phone person. I'm not a phone person. This is what I get from it. When you're taking so long to text, to text me back, either you are extremely busy or you don't have any interest. But even if you're extremely busy, I think it's quite rude. You know, just don't text or like be like, you know, I can't talk right now. At least I'll do that. Like sometimes when my sister texts me, I'll be like, I can't talk right now. I'll call you later. I'll respond, but to just extremely just ignore the text message. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Unless I like, I completely forget. But if you're dating someone, that is the stage where you want to get to know them. So you're asking questions and you expect and questions stop. back. So please, let's stop taking forever to text people back, okay? Starting with myself here. All right, number two, keeping things buggled up inside. That's another pet peeve of mine. Pet peeve of mine. You know, like how you, you're, okay, you're in a dating relationship. And then this is November 29th, December 25th comes and the person is like, oh yeah, Sandy, you remember what you did November 29th when I gave you the orange cup and you said I didn't want the orange cup, I wanted the pink cup. Why were you so petty? And I turn around, I'm like, why are you so petty? Why it took you a whole month? Why it took you a whole three months? Why it took you a whole three weeks, bruh, to bring that up? Why did it take you a whole three weeks? the question forget about me being petty and picking pink cup over orange what happened to december 1st december 2nd december 19th december 20th why do we have to wait till, till, till december 25th for you to confess let's not do that if somebody does something to you verbalize it say it immediately that's something again i had to learn in the relation i had to learn that i didn't know i did that Cause no one has ever told that to me, but um, I recently got to learn that I do that. I said, I'm like, yeah, he was like, okay, sis, I need you to express yourself more because I don't know what you're feeling if you're not communicating. He was absolutely right. People don't, we don't, I don't 
read minds. Do you read minds? If you read minds, comment down below so I can know that you read minds. And maybe I can use you for you to say what you want. Say what you want. Say how you feel. Whether they made you feel sad. They made you feel happy. They made you feel glad. Express yourself. That's something I had to learn. Something I'm learning. and something I, that I'm implementing now. So it is very important. People understand that people cannot read your mind. So you have to communicate how you're feeling. Communicate how you're feeling so that the other party can be able to change what they're doing. Fix what they're doing. So that they can give you the best that they, they have to offer. Like not verbalizing your feelings or somebody that is afraid to be vulnerable. Vulnerability, I think, is one of the most attractive things that I've said in my previous videos. I think that when you're vulnerable, it makes you the more powerful. I love it. I like to see a man that's vulnerable and, and expressive with his feelings. Um, I am not that, at least not yet. So again, this is something that I'm learning. To be more affectionate and if i feel a certain way express it if i'm getting to the point where i'm like you're my favorite person it's okay to say it to the person but you know what based off of my past relationships i had also i had conditioned myself to be hard i had conditioned myself to not let down my guards so i have to relearn again me to it's okay to let down your guards it's okay to trust this man with your heart you know, give him a clean slate. And you can't really put him in the categories of your past relationships unless he does something, you know, that warrants your that, that reception. If a guy does not give you that reception, don't compare him to the ex. Don't do that. Because then you'll be you'll be you'll be cheating yourself from just having an incredible time getting to know somebody new, getting to open up to someone because you're so you're so What's the, what, you, what you call it? Like you, you keep so much restrictions in yourself. You're so guarded. So sometimes it's okay to, to unguard yourself, to be vulnerable. Tell somebody how you feel, how they make you feel. You know, you make me feel happy. You make me feel like the most beautiful girl in the world. You make me feel like the most luckiest, the most blessed woman in the world. Let him know that. And if that person is looking, you look handsome today. Oh, you look beautiful today. You look beautiful every day. Express for pet peeve. Number four pet peeve, that number four pet peeve, that number four pet peeve, hey, number four pet peeve, hey, number four pet peeve. Oh my goodness, one thing I can't, like, I'll be popping off. Like, God still got to deliver me in that area, in that area, in that area. Okay, so number four pet peeve that I don't like is distraction. You know when you're talking to somebody and you're pouring out your heart to them and either they, 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 they fell asleep or they like engage in another conversation or you sense that somebody muted you so you just rap it and their side is extremely quiet and silent I'm not, I don't like that I don't I don't not to say I never do it but I just don't like it I like you to give me your undivided attention I love for a man to give me his undivided attention so that's a pet peeve of mine so if, we're, if any one of you are doing it let's stop it like let's let, let us, help me help you help us to stop it. You're on the phone with somebody and they're completely distracted. That's a pet peeve of mine. Because I'm like, I, I get to the point where like, you know what? Let's call it a day. You have a good night. You have a blessed night. Have a blessed evening. I'm going. Annoying and I think it's quite worth it. Like if you say, I want to I wanna dedicate this time to this person. Dedicate everything to that person. Talking to them without any distractions, that's what I personally think, okay? And, um, yeah, no, let's, let's stop the distraction, still trying to distract it and yet still trying to engage somebody in the conversation. That ain't so number this. five, okay. number five and final pet peeve is texting. How you doing? You ever had somebody like, how you doing, baby girl? How you doing, beautiful? How you doing? We're not on a Wendy Williams show. So please don't ask me how I'm doing without a complete sentence. This is where I get all grammar. This is where I get all grammarly on a guy, okay? This is where Miata gets all grammarly on you. Because I'm like, okay, should I get you like a dictionary for Christmas? Should I perhaps get you some, some books? But I, help me help you help us. <laughs> help me help you help us. Again, help me help you help us. I'm just saying, please write to me in complete sentences. We can put apostrophe, period, a comma, whatever you want to do. I'm not, at this point, I don't even care about your grammar. 
at this point, don't even put comma period. Don't put anything. Just make that a complete sentence for me. How about how are you doing, beautiful? How is your day going? How oh, my day is going? Lovely. Okay, anything exciting happening in your day? Let me know what, what, what color do you have on today? You know what color do you have on today? Yeah, what is the weather like? Stimulate my mind. Stimulate my mind. Keep my mind busy. Stimulate my mind. But those basic, basic, basic elementary school text messages, they gotta go. Those basic elementary school text messages, they got to go. Can we just work on it? In the name of Jesus, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let's work on that, please. Okay? So these are just a few pet peeves of mine. If I missed any pet peeves, kindly write that down in the comment box. You know, write down your, your pet peeves. You know, I probably, I got some dating stories to tell y'all. How about the time I went on a date and the guy asked me half and half, sis? Let's cut this. He said, he said, you pay half, I pay half. I'm like, Hmm, you asked me out on a date. I could have said, let me take half of myself on a date and keep my half at home. But I'm like, no, I'm going to bring my whole self. Therefore, I expect you to pay my whole meal. Appetizer, drink, and entree. And maybe dessert too, but that would be pushing it. But you get what I'm saying. If I didn't ask myself on a date, bro, I think if you want to hear my dating story on that date that I went to, Write it down in the comment box. Say, Miata, we want to hear the dating story. Just write it just like that. Say, Miata, we want to hear the dating story. And I give you all the gist, sis. I give you all the gist, honey. Okay, so this concludes my video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you share with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. Share with your roaches too, honey. Guys, they got to listen too, okay? As always, I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. And until next time, have a blessed day. I know you're probably wondering, like, me, 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 you extra hype today what's going on i don't know i'm just feeling real good that's all but um uh, make sure you subscribe hit the, the bell so every time i upload a new video you'll be the first one to get notified all right have a blessed week y'all bye